Hello everyone, today's a review on the uh, two of the uh, Star Wars ATM ERTL models. Um, you might have seen the, uh, my last video on the level text, so if you're not, you can go check it out. Uh, so here's the front of the box. Um, it's one of those couple of boxes where you just lift it up and it's just a plain box underneath, so not too much to say about those. But here, you know, 8080 Walker. Um, on the side you get more pictures of the, uh, well there's a picture of the actual model, and some pictures from the film, and all four sides are the same. Uh, well, there's a, there's a tiny bit at the bottom, uh, just some basic information. Uh, detail scale model, not designed intended for play, and, all, and, it, and it, same thing in all different languages. 2005 Lucasfilm. Um, and here's the box for the uh, land speeder, which is way bigger. That's super awesome, by the way, because it's, it's, you know you pick this box up in the shop and you're like, oh my god, what am I buying? This is this must be amazing. This it's a speeder bike, it's giant and nice picture. Um, but not too much on the side, just telling you the difficulty, some pictures of the model in the film and more pictures on the side so, and of course, uh, you know, these things are completely different scale from uh, each other uh, let's get the uh, Okay, so um, across that in both of them, there's the uh, instructions manual. There's the AT Walker, this is a big leaflet thing. Uh, actually, not too many parts, uh, it's quite easy to assemble. Oh crap. So, yeah, the speeder bike one is actually a lot more detailed and requires a lot more steps and build time. So let's look at the uh, walker first. And um, walker does come with two sort of rebel half base cannons. And this one snaps a little bit. Uh, I haven't actually really painted these. I just sprayed these with uh, a mixture of white and black spray paint to create the grey effect. And uh, here is the walker. It does stand on its own. Kinda. I mean, it might be my fault that I didn't build it too well. Uh, the legs do turn, even. You know, I don't. Do they turn down here? Oh yes, they do. But uh, my paint has uh, kind of made it harder for the legs to turn. But they do turn. They used to turn, but I'm not gonna force it now. Oh. I'm not going to force it now, it's fine. And in terms of molding detail, this is actually pretty decent. Um, I mean, there's not too much going on with these walkers anyway in the first place, but uh, it works, it looks fine. Uh, this thing used to have a rubber band inside, but uh, to so the head can sort of move. Uh, but as you know, rubber bands degrade quite easily, and well, the rubber band snapped. At first, the head was always drooping, uh, which is kind of funny. It's like a constant depressed AT-AT. But uh, eventually it snaps, so I just blew out the thing. I mean, I can always get a new rubber band sticking in there somehow, maybe. Um, apart from the legs movement, there's not much. You can't open anything. It, it's just as is. It's just a display piece, and it stands pretty well. Um, with a bit of fiddling, of course, to get it, uh, to, get it to stand properly. But, like I said, this stands. Um, and these models, compared to those Rebel Tech ones, these actually feel a lot more solid. The plastic feels a lot harder and stiffer and uh, less brittle. Uh, so you see these things haven't really snapped. So that's a, that's, it's a lot better than uh, those ones. And of course it is a more complicated model because it's designed to be an actual model kit and not one of those easy snap things. And uh, here is the uh, speeder bike with that, which I've just sprayed painted black. I didn't paint it any other way because uh, I just thought it looks pretty cool I mean you know you've seen it a lot uh, the speeder bike a lot of toys anyway but I just want to see some one of it in black and um, it comes with a stand which stands okay if I could just get the peg out without breaking it I hope
So it stands, it comes with a light, tiny uh, Return of the Jedi plaque thing, which I didn't paint, I just only painted the speeder bike. You see, the details of the speeder bike is pretty awesome, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So yes, there's a lot of detail going on on the bike itself, all the little uh, buttons and switches, and of course you've got all these uh, little cable things that go up to the uh, control joysticks, and especially here, the front. Uh, the front is actually a lot more uh, fragile than the rest of it, because there's a lot of pieces here, a lot of different pieces that are glued together. However, even still, um, once you glue it tight with super glue, it doesn't come off all the uh, plastic, plastic cements, it, it, it's solid. And I'm not scared to hold this thing like I am sometimes with those. Uh, even holding it on the head of the, uh, you know, the, the, the scout trooper, it's not going to fall apart. Um, I'm a bit sure. Maybe in the future I'll paint the rest of this, but right now I'm actually quite happy with it just looking black and awesome. You know, the bottom there's some all these gears and technical stuff, wiring going all over the place. It's pretty amazing, and. Uh, because uh, the stand is good, it's a good stand. You, I mean, it's such a tiny stand, but you think, oh my god, how's this going to stand up? But uh, it, because most of the weight of this model is actually balanced on the back, it stands really well. For the most part. Oh. I mean, I've had this thing on display for ages and it hasn't fallen over or anything. And just for a little tiny bonus, here's a tiny AT-80 walker. This is one of those, that uh, this isn't a model kit, this is just one of those things that you get in those Japanese boxes and oh look, there's something inside, I've lost one of the cannons on the front. But in terms of detail, this is pretty awesome, it's all pre-painted and everything and I uh, can't remember what other sets come, but this is one of those Japanese candy toys that you just get in the box and look, here's a model that stands right there. So it's, it's like, um, it's like I have a, a mother and a child. It's pretty funny, it's pretty cool. So overall quality, if you like Star Wars models, I, I go for this one. Um, even if you're crap at painting, right, you don't need to know how to paint. Just get a black, black or white spray can and you, you have a nice display. Instead of getting the Revotech ones. Um, I mean these things are cool at the start because, oh my god, I can build in models so easily. But then you realize a lot of flaws come with them. And in terms of price, these things are a lot better value than those things. So that, that's it for today. Uh, take care and have a nice day and all that. Subscribe, suggest, comment below, and uh, let me know what you think. Bye.